Welcome back to our channel. In this video, let us see how to get this filled in spiral pattern in Python. If you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. We are going to draw this filled in spiral with Matplotlib, Pyplot and NumPy. And this spiral is based on logarithmic spiral Cartesian coordinates. Before writing the Cartesian coordinates for logarithmic spiral, we have to have theta and let us take the value of theta uh, which is arranged between 0 to 8 times the pi value with the steps of 0.1 and a equal to 1, b equal to 0.2. With this uh, three parameters, let us write the Cartesian coordinates x and y for our logarithmic spiral. As we know, a equal to a times the cos theta into exponential of b theta and similarly, Cartesian coordinate for logarithmic spiral y equal to a times the sin theta into exponential b theta. So, this Cartesian coordinate depending on the value of theta ranging from 0 to 8 times n pi with steps of 0.1 will give us one spiral whose radius increases in geometric proportion that is exponentially. Using fill, let me draw the logarithmic spiral. So, we could see that one single spiral whose radius increases exponentially has been plotted. Now, to have our spiral, we need more than one such spirals. So, let us have the for loop within which we will execute x and y that is Cartesian coordinates of logarithmic spiral and for each uh, logarithmic spiral let us plot it. So, let me take dt which is between 0 to 2 times of pi value with the steps between pi by 2. That means between 0 to 2 pi we will have 4 dt values and let me rename x1 and y1 as the Cartesian coordinates and each time the theta is incremented by theta plus dt. So, we this will result us in getting four spirals. Now, let us execute and see our results. We got four spirals which are overlapped with each other. That means there is no distinction boundary to fill the colors. So, to get the uh, distinct boundaries to get filled in pattern, let us have one more logarithmic spiral whose value is changed with respect to the first logarithmic spiral x1 and x2. So, let us have a dt as dt plus pi by 6 and then define another logarithmic spiral x2 y2 as cos theta plus t exponential b theta and x2 is sin theta exponential b theta. Now, we will fill only x2 and y2. We can see again we got four logarithmic spirals but they are inclined by 1 by 6 times the pi from x1 y1 that is the first logarithmic spirals. So, x1 y1 results in one logarithmic spiral and x2 y2 results in another logarithmic spiral which is inclined by 1, 1 by 6 pi times with the first spirals. So, now to have our uh, final filled in spirals, let me call the concatenate method and concatenate x and y coordinates in, in the reverse order. So, xp is nothing but concatenated array of x1 and x2 in reverse order. Similarly, yp the concatenated array is y1, y2 in the reverse order. So, resulting xp and yp is going to be plotted and let us observe our result quickly. As we know, the concatenation is between the two logarithmic coordinates x1, y1, y, x2, y2 which is 
inclined by 1 sixth times the pi and each of these logarithmic scales will result in 4 separate spirals. Now we could see that we got a filled in spiral which is nothing but the color applied between two curves. Hope you like the video. Please like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed.